Well, you know, it's the wave of the future, online coding. Now, some Utah schools are getting a crash course in web and software development. Next, we talk with the CEO of Pluralsight about this growing industry. Six Utah schools are hosting three-hour crash courses on coding and programming. Students will take a break from their usual school schedules to participate in this uh, pilot course, which is part of an ongoing effort by the online education company Pluralsight to prepare kids for high-paying careers in web and software development. That's what it's all about. Apparently smart kids. Aaron Sconard, <laughs> CEO of Pluralsight, is joining us now. So, okay, explain online coding, because we don't understand it, and why it's important. Does it have anything to do with that cloud thing with that numbers, I don't understand either? Binary yes, numbers. it has everything to do with that and much, much more, um, especially the games our kids play on their tablets and phones all day long it's it's how do you create that as opposed to consuming it so in other words when we're saying coding we're saying creating software yeah software that can be shared by millions of people through the cloud exactly I mean our kids know this better than we do they pick up their their That's device ours. yeah and they <laughs> they browse the app store and they download these apps and who creates these apps software developers. And so our goal with this is to try to inspire kids to not just be creators or, or consumers of that technology, but actually creators of it. And once we expose them to that, it's like their minds just open wide up and away they go. And we're talking kids of all ages here. Yes. What, what's the youngest? I think about eight. It's really, wow. can you type? Yeah. If you can type, you can do it. Okay. So when do you see kids really just start picking up with this? 10, 11, 12. Um, I have two boys. One's 14, one's 12. And, and I just started going through the courses with them a few months ago. And they're off to the races. I mean, so really, I mean, and, and you can kind of, it kind of depends more on how intrigued they are by it than mm -hmm. their age. I've seen young, young kids, even seven, eight, get really into it. Wow. And right now this program, you've got it in a, a few high schools and, and one club up in Morgan County. Yeah. You're hoping to expand this uh, to get it into more schools? Yeah, we'd really, so what, what we've done at Pluralsight is created these online courses that really anyone in the world can have access to. So this is not just something that we're doing here in Utah. We're trying to think globally, but act locally. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've provided this platform. Other schools in the nation and the world can actually come and use these courses to do the very same thing in their schools. We decided to start here in Utah and try to inspire, you know, teachers and parents here in the state to do this and hopefully spread it. We're gonna do more workshops like this in the months ahead. And, and hopefully, um, you know, see a lot of it just take off around the world. And it really is gaining in popularity. Why do you think that is? Well, I think um, there's a couple of things happening right now. There's a shortage of software developers in the industry. Mm -hmm. The number one problem in Silicon Valley is they can't find developers to build the ideas that they have for their startups. And so um, you're seeing a lot of attention focused on this problem now because we don't have enough developers. And actually the numbers at university are going down in computer science. Huh. And so the combination of those two things is just a really bad trend, right? And a lot of companies are paying attention, taking notice and saying, we gotta fix this. So looking to the future, do you see a day when coding will just be part of the curriculum like reading, writing and I, arithmetic? I hope so. I mean, I think, I mean, if you look at coding and, and how pervasive it is today, it has almost kind of become our, our new international language of business to some degree. And, and really, kids should be exposed to it just as much as they should be exposed to a foreign language like French or Spanish. And I really hope they provide that opportunity because today this, the schools are not doing that. And with that kind of deficit, we're talking in the near future, some pretty lucrative jobs for these kids too. Absolutely. There's actually a company in Silicon Valley that started up within the last 12 months that's in the business of auctioning off developers. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> wow. And they are placing developers making ludicrous amounts of money because there's such a shortage. I think that's a great place to end. So where can people find out about this kind of lucrative stuff? Yeah, so Pluralsight.com is our website. Um, you go to Pluralsight.com slash kids. We'll have a landing page there in, in the near future that provides all these free courses and makes them easy to find. Great. Aaron, yeah. thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, that's my that pleasure. That was great.